Biden's third stimulus check update. We are printing money, baby, here in the U.S., and it is time to cash in. But I want to talk to you why you won't be getting your money, or at least most of my audience, why you're not going to get your money, but others will. Because let's be honest, right now, the U.S. is just throwing money out left and right, and Biden just signed off yesterday, March 11th, on Thursday, to be able to pass the, what was it called again? It was the uh, American rescue plan. I like that. The American rescue plan. Yet, not all of America is being rescued. So, my name is Joe Mabu with Master Life by Design. If this is your first time tuning in to this channel, I'm excited to have you here. Thank you. Welcome to the channel. But I want to be able to dig in to share with you the research that I've done so that we can find out, are you getting your money or not? So, let's jump in. All right, you guys may have heard that Biden signed off on a $1.9 trillion coronavirus uh, relief bill. So last Saturday, the Senate passed it, the House passed it on Wednesday, and then President Biden, he actually signed off on it and went into the law as of Thursday, March 11th. So with that being said, the American Rescue Plan went into law, which is exciting. We all are like, yeah, we're all getting money, but not so fast. You think you are. Are, but you may not actually and I was like mm, I don't think we're getting it and as at this point we're not getting it me and my family so anyway one thing you must know is you need to be a US citizen in order to get this or a US resident alien which uh, which were claimed as a dependent by another taxpayer right so you couldn't be claimed from someone else who maybe is a US citizen um, so you can't do that and you got to have a valid social security number now, in the bill, that it talks about how if someone passed away in 2020, that you don't qualify or your partner doesn't qualify to receive benefits on your behalf, right? So especially if someone, God forbid, died of the coronavirus, they are not entitled, the partner is not entitled to get the benefits. Uh, if they died in 2021, there's still, the IRS is unsure if you're going to receive benefits or not. So you want to stay tuned for that. If you're someone that has or knows someone in that position, where this year within the first three months or first two and a half months, someone has passed away. And again, hopefully not of the coronavirus. So if you go back, the first round of stimulus checks were worth up to $1,200 right? They were distributed in the spring of 2020. It was a $2.2 trillion CARES Act, and it didn't prohibit uh, like debt collectors or uh, creditors to garnish any money coming in. But a fun fact in this bill is that actually the debt collectors um, or the people who you may owe money to or debt services to, uh, they will... Uh, they can be able to take your money that you receive from this bill. So it's not protected like the first two stimulus checks were. Uh, they were not, they're not going to be exempt from garnishment. So if you owe money in back taxes, child support, uh, behind on car payments, you're not going to get that more than likely. Now, you might slip through the cracks and you might be like, woohoo, I got my money. Uh, just be careful. If you're not getting your check on time or when you think you should be getting it, that might be because you have some outstanding debt. So you may want to go look at your credit report, go look at your three credit reports, go pay for it. I think it's a dollar on like creditreport.com or Credit Karma or whatever. You could pay like a little small fee to get that and see, you know, do you owe any debt? If you don't, then good for you. Great job. But if you don't get it, well, you know why. All right, <clears throat> so um, with that, what does this bill include, right? This bill includes, uh, a measurement includes $1,400 at stimulus check for Americans. So if you meet the criteria, uh, as we talked about before, the un they're gonna extend unemployment benefits to $300 a week. So a maximum of $1,200. And I, I like this because people who really need the help, they're getting it. But you're not, the challenge with the other ones, as great as they were, was that people weren't going to work. They're like, man, I make more in unemployment than I do working. And so, well, it's a, you know, it's a catch 22. We want to be able to support people because these stimulus checks are actually about feeding your family. There's a lot of people who are struggling to pay their bills or their utilities. 
And especially like in Texas where, you know, they had a, a cold front <laughs> and they didn't have electricity, power outages, you know, like people need to pay their bills, they need to eat. Now, now that the, I'll say this quick plug, even though it can be garnished, it, right now things can be garnished, there are people that are trying to put some things through the, uh, the process so that it's not, but we'll see if anything goes through, especially come Monday. I doubt it. It seems like it's going to stand where your, uh, your payment can be garnished, right? If you owe on debt. So <clears throat> anyway, $300 a week and that's extended through September 6th. So there was a cutoff before now we're getting cut to uh, September 6th and a one year extension on the child tax credit, which I want to I want to jump into here as my last point for you guys. So if you're, I will say this, how quickly can we see our checks or your check, hopefully, if you qualify for it? Well, we can see it as early as today, March 12th, Friday, and over the weekend. So you may want to keep a lookout for that and the upcoming week to see if you got it in your bank account, if it's a direct deposit into your bank account. So check on on that. Now, how do they regulate this? So if you haven't filed for your 2020 taxes yet, well, then they're going to use your 2019 to calculate how much money uh, you're going to get paid, right? They're going to use those old taxes because that's kind of the baseline and how on how they do this. So how do you know if you qualify? What does that look like? All right. So it looks like this. For couples who filed a joint federal income tax, they're going to be getting phasing out starting at your earning income at $150,000 and it ends around $160,000. Now, I'm not exactly sure how they calculate that, what exactly has to happen because there is a $10,000 range in there. Um, but for people who file their taxes as head of household, uh, they'll receive the full $1,400 payment if they earn less than $112,000 and $512,500, right? Um, while the payments may, will be cut off for those who are earn, earning around uh, $120,000. So I don't, again, I don't know how they're kind of doing that, what that looks like, what other calculations comes in. You may want to do a little bit of research if you find yourself kind of on that verge, that bubble. If you haven't done your taxes for 2020, um, it's probably a good thing if you, in 2020, in 2019, you earned less income than these factors here. If you've made a lot, but then your income decreased because of what happened, you may want to get your taxes done as soon as possible. And I don't know if there's a form that you could fill out to kind of retrograde that and show that you've made less in 2020 because of what happened with the coronavirus and shutdowns and all that. So you may want to do your due diligence there. Now, <clears throat> let's jump in and wrap up here. And we talked about how your payments can be garnished, which kind of stinks if you're one of those people who have debt, but you're struggling to get by. So be aware of that. But let's talk about if you have kids, because a lot of people, I know we got a bonus check for having children and we were expecting one uh, this time around, but it doesn't look like you're going to get that. So parents could receive up to $3,600 in child tax credit um, uh, through this. And so most Americans expect that to receive a $3,000 uh, uh, a year for every child between the ages of 6 to 17 and $6,300 a year for every child under 6. So if you have uh, children under 6, you'll get $3,600. If you have 6 to 17, uh, not 18 because then they're an adult and if they're not, uh, if you don't claim them and they're independent, you're not going to be able to get the child tax credit. However, you will get $3,000 for a tax credit. Um, they, let's see here, what else did I throw down here? The expanded amounts would uh, taper off once the income hits $75,000 for the individual, if you're an individual, and $150,000 for married couples. So families are uh, normally entitled to a $2,000 refundable tax credit per child, um, but based on the $7,500 or $75,000 for an individual, $150,000 as a couple, uh, you will be able to get the $3,000 or the $3,600 there. So 
If families earn uh, too much to qualify for the tax credit, you'll still re be able to receive your $2,000 uh, credit for your child. Uh, if your income is below $200,000 as an individual, and if it is lower than $400,000 as a couple, you are able to still get that $2,000 credit. It's just that with this plan here, um, with the American Rescue Plan, it is thirty or three thousand dollars credit for ages six to seventeen, thirty six hundred dollars for ages under six. So that's it, folks. That's the stimulus check, and you may not be getting one, and for a couple of reasons, as we talked about, you make way too much money. Most of my six and seven figure, eight figure audience here, they're not getting one. Okay, but for those of you that are under those amounts, you'll get one, so don't worry. But you may not get it if you owe debt. If you, uh, you know, you have debt collectors coming in looking and saying, Where's my money? Right? Give me my money, baby. Right? So that's the only difference in this plan, which kind of stinks. Lowers unemployment, I or the unemployment uh, wages, I guess you could say here, to from 400 last time to 300, which it helps. It helps us not put that much more money that we've been pumping and printing out into the economy. Helps people who really need it. Um, and hopefully it's enough to get them by, but they still need to go find work, right? To get up and get out there and find work. We want the economy to be stimulated. A lot of people are now opening up. A lot of states are lowering or, or abandoning the mask mandate. They no longer have it. I know Texas was one who kind of led that off in a way. I know out here in Idaho, we don't have it, but certain counties are still requiring masks. And so you got to do your homework there. But as more businesses open up, we're going to have more jobs needed. And then that should lower the unemployment rate, not have to take as many benefits. Hopefully they can make more money working than they would on an unemployment. So stimulate the economy and get things rolling. Plus, it's really good because if you have this extra money, right? Like if you qualify for this and you go out and find a job, then you got this extra, you know, $1,400. What do you do with it? And so here's what you need to do with it. You need to go and watch the video, Who's Right About Your Money, Grant Cardone or Dave Ramsey. And then I also made one on the second round of stimulus checks. You want to go ahead on the playlist of the financial one, go watch, you know, how do I spend my stimulus check? What do you do with that? And so you want to check those videos out because yeah, you might have this extra $1,400. It might be a little tight, but how do you take that $1,400 and maybe make it into $14,000? Right, and that's what we want. So go ahead and watch those videos that I put in here as we wrap up here. And again, if you found value, please give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. We're coming out with three videos every uh, every week in the area of personal development, relationship, finances, and business. And then go ahead and also, if you find that you need a breakthrough, you need someone to work with, go ahead in the description below. Fill out that one-on-one -on -one coaching application. Myself, my wife, or one of our team members, coaches, will would love to partner with you and help you create a breakthrough in your area so you go to that next level, especially if you're struggling financially. It now's the time to invest in yourself. And it takes money to make money, people say. So anyway, with that, excited to have you on the channel. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe and looking forward to hearing what did you do with your stimulus check? Comment below and love to hear what you did with it. My name is Joe Mavu, Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See ya.